everybody, welcome to week 18 of our journey through the Jesus Storybook Bible by Sally Lloyd-Jones. This chapter is called Heaven Breaks Through. About the same time Jesus was born, another baby was born. His name was John and God had a special job for him. John was going to get everyone ready for Jesus. The day John was born, his dad knew God's promise to Abraham was coming true. God was sending the rescuer and he was so happy that he sang a song. Because God loves us with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love, heaven is breaking through. He is sending a light from heaven to shine upon us like the sun, to shine on those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. So John grew up and, well, to tell you the truth, he was a bit unusual. He lived in the desert. He wore itchy, scratchy outfits made of camel hair and he had a big, big bushy beard and long, long scraggly hair. And here is the oddest thing of all. He ate locusts, short for big, creepy, crunchy grasshoppers, which he dipped in honey, probably just to disguise the taste. But God sent John to tell his people something important. Stop running away from God and run to him instead, John said. You need to be rescued. I have good news. The rescuer is coming. Make your hearts ready for him. Yes, get ready because your, ki your king is coming back for you. Great crowds listened to John. They were sorry they had sinned and they wanted to stop running away from God. They wanted to be rescued. So John baptised them, which means he plunged them in and out of the water. It showed them that it, that it showed that they wanted to follow God and begin a new life. One day, John was baptizing people in the Jordan River as usual when he looked up and saw a man walking down to the water's edge. God spoke quietly to John. This is the one. John's heart leapt. This was the moment he'd been waiting for all his life. Look, John said as Jesus came down into the water. But his voice came out as a whisper. He couldn't make it any louder. It was all he could do to even speak. The Lamb of God. God's best Lamb who takes away the sins of the whole world. Will you baptise me too? Jesus asked. Who am I? John asked. To baptise you. It's what God wants me to do, Jesus said. So John baptised Jesus. Suddenly, it was as if someone had drawn back curtains in a dark room, as if heaven itself had opened, because a beautiful light broke through the clouds and shone down onto Jesus, bathing him in gold. Beads of water glittered and sparkled like tiny diamonds in his hair. A white dove flew down and gently rested on Jesus, and a voice came down from heaven. It was clear and strong and so loud that everyone could hear. This is my own son and I love him. I am very pleased with him, God said. Listen to him. Heaven had broken through. The great rescue had begun. And the most exciting bit of all about this story is that heaven continues to break through, through me and you. See you next week.